Peace, Dr. Sheena House. You know, and since we're here, let's deal with this um, Obama shit. Obama's chewing out some young group of men in look like a hotel or some, some some type of conference area. And he's telling them about how things are not going well, especially with the brothers and the, the acting all. Like, he don't understand what's going on. And them niggas is like, boss, you can't pay. You're not paying us enough to make this shit make any sense. All right? They can't even sell Kamala Harris because it's so preposterous to black men. And now Obama's up there acting like, what's going on with y'all? Because he's talking to this group and he's trying to get them fired up about going into communities and riling you up about Kamala. That's what the secret was. See, it's drum call. It's drum roll. He's drumming everything up. You gotta get the troops out. That's what that was. That was part of the rallying cry, whereas he would uh, address, I guess these are operatives in the Democratic parties, wherever he was at. I think he was in Pittsburgh at the time. These are Democratic Party operatives, the one that they give the money to, to go out there and push the agenda. All right? It's a pay-to-play situation here, all right? They give them money to promote the agenda. That's how this is done. And they ain't not showing no results because ain't nobody trying to buy the blind pig you call Kamala Harris. The black men ain't buying that shit. That's the problem. You're not buying it like they want you to. Uh, so now he has to come and act like he's surprised. Well, let me explain to Mr. President why the black brothers ain't coming out for Kamala or Harris. Number one, the Democratic Party is faggoty, man. Ain't no real man want to be associated with no faggoty-ass party of transgenders and homosexuals and whatever other kind of letter they want to have on it. Ain't no black man interested. Ain't no righteous thinking black men interested in that type of association. All right? Even the lame-ass politicians that are democratic and lack that they feminine looking or acting. No spine. All right? So they've thrown out the black agenda, these black political leaders, and picked up the LGBT agenda. Or they're trying to use both at the same time, which just takes the, the steam out of both movements. All right? And number two, no, we don't want the woman to rule over us. Fuck no. We don't want that. <laughs> All right? Especially somebody so unstable, irrational, can't put a co cohesive thought together, has to lie to try to be... Her whole life is a lie. Think about that. Your whole life is a structured lie. Uh, a ruse to put you in a position to do something down the road. See, that's how we thinking here. Y'all not thinking like that. See? I can set up a whole dummy life. You done been through it with Obama. They set up a whole dummy life of him for him. And he, they sold it to you. They set up a dummy life for Kamala. And they selling it to you. That's all that's going on. But we're not buying it again. We're catching on. We're catching on. So that's why we haven't. That's why we're not interested in Kamala Harris. Amongst other reasons that we don't need to get into right now. But that's the main reasons, fam. Tell Mr. Obama, tell Mr. President so he can understand what's going on. All right. Got the shoes out. Peace.